Greetings YouTube. In this video I'm going to discuss the partnership between Microsoft and Oculus VR. So a long 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 time ago Oculus said that they wanted to standardize the input in all Oculus games. They said that back in the day in the beginning, almost in the beginning, that because they wanted to make it easy for developers to target controls in their games and easy for the user, the, the consumer to use it because it would be the same control in every game. And some time ago, Oculus made a partnership with Microsoft of some sort. We don't really know much about this partnership. I'm not going to claim that I know something that no one else knows. <laughs> I don't, but these are my thoughts of the price in the consumer version of the Oculus. People think it's high because it's almost $600 US and then you of course have to ship it to wherever you live, which adds to the price point. <clears throat> but I'm here to tell you that I don't really think the price is high. Uh, many, many people would want the Xbox controller to get just thrown out of the package to, con because I think it contributes to the higher price point. But after Oculus made a partnership with Windows, Microsoft, then Windows said that you would need Windows 10 for the optimal drivers to run the Rift. Of course, you can run it in Windows 7, that is also supported. But for optimal support and all that driver stuff, you will need to use Windows 10. And by the time the before the Oculus made a partnership with Windows, they fully supported uh, Apple um, OS X, Mac OS X, right? Um, but when they started partnering up with Microsoft, no more support for Mac, not one bit support. Actually. Um, if you want to do any Mac games, it will have to be on the very, very old drivers and no of the new stuff are made for the old Mac drivers, which would also have worked for the old Windows drivers. But now they have totally cut the support, so you have to find some old games if you want to play them on your Mac without, um, without installing Windows. So now you do have to install Windows to get all the new features and all the new games. I think that Microsoft did this. I think they asked Oculus when they partnered up with them to stop developing driver support for Mac in order for everybody who wants to play Rift games to go and buy Windows. Um, and if they used a Mac, they would need to install Windows on the Mac so they could enjoy their Windows experiences. And this leads us to an uh, increase in earnings on Microsoft's side because now everybody who has a Mac who wants to use the, to use all the new games and whatnot for the Oculus they need to buy Windows which sucks for those people and it's really good for Microsoft and I, I think that this leads us to Microsoft giving all the Xbox controllers to Oculus totally for free for Oculus to include them in the package without adding a higher price point. Of course, this is idle speculation. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually true that Microsoft told others to stop supporting um, Mac OS X, Macintosh, but if they did, then I'm pretty sure that the Xbox controller that is bundled with the Oculus consumer version is totally free and therefore removing it would do nothing to the price point. So what about the little thingy over here that not everybody knows exactly what it is but Oculus have stated that it's a small cheaply built remote control. Essentially it's what the interface is on the, on the Samsung Gear VR from Samsung, right? Same, uh, just to, to, to do some simple interfacing and turn up the volume, which would be great if you're watching a movie. Then you can just use that and don't have to use the Xbox controller. And then they have included one, uh, infrared camera, which you will 
totally need <laughs> to get positional, positional tracking to working, which is awesome. And I don't know the price of any of these things, but I'm pretty sure that the little remote control just doesn't really cost that much to include. And then we have the Rift itself, the headset and the tracking device, which are both very essential and I have no idea what it costs to make the infrared camera. But I know that there is a lot of custom-made technology in the Oculus Rift. The lenses are custom-made, which are very important. And the two there are two displays in it, uh, custom made, two small ones, they can't use uh, displays from phones because they need two. If they had one they could just like flip it uh, like this, right, and then they could use one from a standard phone, which would be alright I guess. But they, they are using two custom made displays and including uh, gyro sensors, which are, I don't know how, what the price are on that is, but they're including a lot of stuff in it actually to make it work as a microphone, which probably doesn't cost that much. That much, and I, I don't think the I don't know what the audio which I in the Oculus Rift cost to have with them, but it's gonna be if you don't have wireless headphones, which plays good sound, then I would highly recommend you to actually use those. You can uh, you can take them off if you want to get rid of them, but Consider this, if you don't have anything wireless, then these using the built-in audio in the Rift will actually give you one less wire to get choked on. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, I really hate wires and they have all the wires in, in one cable on the Rift, which goes back on the headset and into your computer, wherever you, you have placed it. But if you're using an extra Headset. Then you have an extra cord, which you also have to get over there, and it's just easier having it bundled in the Rift itself. But you can totally remove them, and that of course have also perhaps added a little bit to the price point. But consider this: the iPhone, when that was totally new, it cost about six hundred dollars. I think that's the same price as the Rift does, and you did not get included any other stuff just got a phone and actually they didn't even include an app store back then because there weren't any app store and no one made apps for it. You just had the apps on the phone and that was it and people still bought it even though it was rather expensive. So here you get an app store, a gaming store, <laughs> where there will be games in it and you get a controller and you're actually getting a lot of stuff for your money. You can choose to believe more lucky when he says that um, they're selling it as cost. He actually says that they're losing money on the on selling the Oculus Rift consumer version, which you can totally choose for yourself if you want to believe it or if you don't want to believe it. I think they're selling at the cost that it takes to make it actually. Um, but even if they are losing a little bit money selling it, they're definitely gonna get it back with the games that are being sold, or uh, rather are going to be sold in the Oculus Store, which they call Oculus Home, if I remember correctly. So the Oculus Rift couldn't actually have become any cheaper considering all the custom-made technology they have in it and all the positional tracking to make it as reliable as possible and therefore a better experience. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any comments you are very welcome to leave them below and you can like it or dislike the video and that will let me know if you found this information helpful. And I want to, to say again that I don't know for certain if the Xbox controller is free, uh, freely delivered by Microsoft but I highly suspect that it is. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. These are just my thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs>